This one here behind me is uh, the new Kelly car lot for Buick and GMC. We've installed for BMW, Jaguar, Land Rover. We've got the body shop coming up. we got a new car wash coming up. Yeah, coming on this side here, we were one of the first projects we're going into winter. So we were worried about corn in the winter time, accelerators. Then we got to wrap them with concrete blankets. You know, as busy as everybody is, trying to get concrete on site has been has been hard. And it would be a nightmare trying to pour them in place, full base. It's a huge advantage in trying to coordinate the crew and timing, because then we don't have any type of coordination with sauna tubes and rebar on site, where we're going to store them, what the weather outlook looks like. So we don't have to work any of those into our factors on um, schedule. So we were able to get the poles on site, even though it was below 30 degrees, sometimes 20 degree days, we were still maintaining a process of installing bases, and then at the same time, turn around and put the pole right on top of the new pole base. So the, the time savings was huge, especially going into the winter time. The standard light pole bases are 24 inch diameter by eight foot six. Other places we have are some car chargers, which are usually 24 to 18 inch flush. Once the current projects are done, we're right at about 160 to 175 bases um, for everything. On a good day, we can usually install between 10 and 15 24 inch bases in a day. I would recommend uh, pole base to other contractors because it's a huge time savings and um, it, just, it just helps expedite the project. That way you're not holding up other contractors because you you know, usually you don't have enough time to get your own stuff in. So any advantage that we have that we can get, definitely recommend it.